Welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Whether you're looking for medical insights, the latest healthcare trends, or fun educational content, there's something here for you. Messenger RNA, mRNA vaccine technology, which gained widespread recognition during the COVID-19 pandemic, is now being explored for broader medical applications. This video explores the current state of mRNA vaccine research. It highlights how mRNA vaccines are better than traditional methods. The piece also considers their potential to fight diseases such as cancer, autoimmune disorders, and rare genetic conditions. It also highlights existing challenges in implementation and the evolving outlook for this transformative technology in global health. The emergence of COVID-19 brought mRNA vaccines to the forefront of medical innovation, showcasing their ability to be rapidly developed and effectively deployed. This success sparked great interest in mRNA technology for other essential health issues. This video gives a detailed overview of mRNA vaccine development beyond COVID-19. mRNA vaccines function by delivering synthetic genetic instructions to the body's cells, prompting them to produce a specific protein associated with a pathogen. This protein is typically a harmless part of the virus or bacterium. It helps the immune system respond, teaching the body to identify and fight the real pathogen if it comes into contact. mRNA vaccines differ from traditional vaccines. Traditional ones often use live or inactivated viruses, but mRNA vaccines don't contain any virus at all. This distinction boosts safety and speeds up production. Researchers are now actively investigating the use of mRNA vaccines for a diverse array of medical conditions. Clinical trials are ongoing for vaccines against infectious diseases like influenza, HIV, and Zika. In oncology, experimental mRNA-based treatments are being tested in cancers such as melanoma, colorectal cancer, and breast cancer. These vaccines teach the immune system to find cancer-specific antigens, giving a personalized approach to immunotherapy. Beyond infectious diseases and cancer, mRNA therapies are being explored for autoimmune conditions, including multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes. In these cases, the technology may help modulate or restrain immune responses to prevent the body from attacking itself. For rare genetic disorders linked to specific protein deficiencies, mRNA-based therapies may provide a solution. They can help replace proteins that are missing or not functioning correctly. This approach addresses the disease's root causes at the molecular level. One of the most significant advantages of mRNA vaccine technology is the speed at which vaccines can be designed and manufactured. Traditional vaccines often require extensive time to culture live viruses or produce recombinant proteins. Unlike conventional vaccines, mRNA vaccines can be made quickly. Once we know the genetic sequence of the target pathogen, we can start the synthesis. It was clearly demonstrated during the COVID-19 pandemic when mRNA vaccines were among the first to reach the public. Another benefit is the technology's adaptability. Because mRNA sequences can be easily modified, vaccines can be quickly updated to address emerging variants or new infectious agents. This adaptability is especially crucial in combating fast mutating viruses such as influenza. Safety is another key advantage. Since mRNA vaccines do not use live viruses, they pose no risk of causing the disease they are designed to prevent. This makes them particularly suitable for individuals with compromised immune systems. The mRNA put into the body breaks down naturally in a few days, meaning there is no lasting trace or integration into the genome. Despite these benefits, several obstacles remain. One significant challenge is that many mRNA vaccines require ultra-cold storage, typically between minus 70 and minus 80 degrees Celsius. It makes distribution challenging, especially in rural or low-resource areas. Cost is another consideration. The production of mRNA vaccines, especially in their current forms, tends to be more expensive than conventional vaccines. It may affect their availability in regions with limited healthcare budgets. mRNA technology is being developed not only for prevention, but also for therapeutic purposes, particularly in cancer. These vaccines help the immune system spot and attack tumor cells. They do this by targeting proteins that are specific to cancer. 
Clinical trials are testing these in several cancers. These include melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and breast cancer. mRNA technology can create vaccines that match the unique traits of a patient's tumor. It could lead to more precise and personalized cancer treatments. In autoimmune diseases, where the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues, mRNA therapies could play a role in re-educating immune cells. Approaches under investigation include inducing tolerance to self-antigens, regulating overactive immune pathways, and supplying deficient proteins. Early research shows promise for conditions like multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes. It suggests a possible role in changing how the immune system works. mRNA-based treatments may also offer solutions for rare genetic disorders, which are often caused by mutations that impair the production of essential proteins. By delivering genetic instructions to produce these proteins, mRNA therapies could temporarily restore normal function. Moreover, researchers are exploring ways to use mRNA to correct mutations or influence gene expression. For patients with few or no existing treatment options, this technology holds the promise of meaningful clinical benefit. Compared to traditional vaccines, mRNA vaccines offer several compelling advantages. Their fast development cycle helps them respond quickly to health threats. Their ability to scale up means they can efficiently produce large quantities once manufacturing starts. The technology's adaptability means that updates to vaccines can be made with relative ease making it well-suited for fast-evolving viruses. Furthermore, the absence of live virus components contributes to a favorable safety profile. However, traditional vaccines maintain certain advantages. They have a well-established history of use with extensive long-term safety and efficacy data. They also often have less demanding storage requirements, making them easier to distribute in resource-limited settings. In some cases, they are more cost-effective to produce particularly where infrastructure for conventional vaccine manufacturing is already established. The demonstrated success of mRNA vaccines during the COVID-19 pandemic has laid a strong foundation for continued innovation. Future developments will probably target better storage stability, which will allow for easier distribution and reduce production costs. These efforts will help make the technology accessible to more people worldwide. Research is expanding into areas such as personalized medicine, rare disease treatment, and therapeutic vaccines for chronic conditions. There is also growing interest in the development of combination vaccines using mRNA platforms to target multiple diseases within a single shot. Another promising area is self-amplifying mRNA. This newer technology has the potential to strengthen immune responses. It can also reduce the dosage needed, which may enhance vaccine efficiency. mRNA vaccine technology represents a significant leap forward in biomedical science, with applications that extend well beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. This platform offers us a flexible and strong tool for the future of medicine. It can help with cancer, autoimmune diseases, and rare genetic disorders. Challenges still exist, especially with cost, storage, and public acceptance. However, ongoing research and development will likely overcome many of these issues. As innovation continues, mRNA vaccines are poised to play a pivotal role in shaping global health strategies for years to come. Thanks for watching our Global RPH production. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel. We're bringing you a dynamic mix of content across a variety of topics, so there's always something fresh, engaging, and insightful just for you. Your support means the world to us. It helps us grow and keep delivering exciting, high-value content. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come.